I'm Marcel, and you're watching The Pulse. The more I research NMN as a natural ingredient, the more frustrated I get at the whole situation. The NIH posted a study just a couple months ago in December of 23, showing that NMN is a key ingredient in breast milk. The study specifically said, the results suggest that NMN in human milk may be an important nutrient for early child development. So when you take the government at their word, they're publishing a study saying, it's, it's in human milk, human milk. I love that one. It's in breast milk. And then you listen to David Sinclair talk about it. And I'm talking about vintage Sinclair. He no longer says these types of things, but you could find these comments. It'll be pretty easy to show a judge David Sinclair's stance, uh, at least his initial stance for many years on NMN as a natural ingredient. NMN is a molecule that is naturally occurring and the body converts it into this NAD. What's NAD? Well, NAD is a molecule we need for life. We have a lot of it in our bodies and it's used for chemical reactions, but it's also used by these sirtuin defenses that we work on um, as an indicator of when times are tough. When times are tough, our bodies fight disease and aging and fight for longevity. But without NAD or high levels of NAD, they don't work very well. And in fact, the older we get in many of our tissues, the levels of NAD decline uh, apparently by as much as 50%. So NMN is a natural molecule and the body treats it like a vitamin. Well, the full name, if you want to hear it, is nicotinamide mononucleotide, but it's just a small chemical that the body takes in as a vitamin and turns it into a really important chemical in the body called NAD. So him and his dad take it as a supplement just to get their levels up to that of a pro athlete, of a younger person. The molecule that I take and my father takes is naturally occurring, our bodies make it, and re really we're just aiming to supplement what we're losing over time and get us back up to a youthful level and the sort of levels that you see in athletes and people who don't eat uh, three meals a day. But we can't take it. It's in breast milk, but it doesn't meet the definition of a dietary supplement. Sinclair and his dad take it, they supplement with it, but it doesn't meet the definition. Are they breaking the law? The irony, you know, is I mentioned recently, my mom didn't breastfeed. And I asked her about this. And she said, you know, the government told us at the time that baby formula was safer than breast milk. I can't help but laugh at the irony of this, right? The government has been trying to take away NMN from cradle to grave. Take away the breast milk. Take away the supplements. 60 years of the government taking away my NMN. And I wonder, would I have not had the allergy problems as a child had I had my NMN supply as an infant? I can't help but wonder that. The more I look at this, it just looks like an open and shut case. You get this in front of a judge, get this in a courtroom. You can have Sinclair representing both the prosecution and the defense because his own comments incriminate his recent claims. So why aren't we in front of a judge yet? Why aren't we suing the FDA and Metro Biotech for what they're doing? And apparently, Steve Mister of CRN says, you can't sue them until they take final action. Well, if taking NMN away from $5 trillion worth of retail and social media platforms, is, if that's not final action, I shudder to think what final action is actually going to look like. Like, how bad is it going to get? Yes, NMN's still available from Do Not Age and others, right? But the availability is shrinking as time goes on. And what's final action going to look like? They're just going to reduce the pool of resellers of NMN and then take their final action? Kind of scares me to think what it might look like. I was telling a friend of mine, a German friend of mine, about this topic today. And he said, in Germany, they're debating whether or not vitamin D should be a supplement or a drug because it has so many health benefits. <laughs> Where does vitamin D exist naturally in plentiful supplies? Milk, cow's milk, human milk, milk. So it's like a war on milk. They're literally at war with milk. They want to own milk. Doesn't meet the definition. FDA, NMN doesn't meet the definition of a dietary supplement. Yet David Seclair takes it as a supplement with his dad. It exists naturally in breast milk and many foods, many healthy foods that the government would tell you to eat like broccoli and avocados, edamame, Brussels sprouts, but it doesn't meet the definition. Oh, it's in breast milk. It's a primary source of NAD boosting for infants. Uh, it's not a supplement, but Sinclair called it a vitamin. No, it's not a vitamin. Five years ago, I heard about NMN from David Sinclair's mouth. I couldn't afford it at the time. I started taking it three years ago. It turned my life around completely. I've told this story many, many times. 
we were all really happy with it as a supplement. I mean, there were fakes out there, but we were informing people and we were sending letters to the FDA and saying, hey, 60% of the NMN at Amazon is fake. Do something. And they did nothing. They sat on their hands. And then a little after a year of taking NMN, happily, gladly, successfully, telling thousands of people about it, FDA writes a letter and says, take it away. It's not a supplement. We didn't connect the dots. It's not a supplement. It's going to be a drug. And I didn't start this fight. I was just a guy who believed what David Sinclair said. And I've had nothing but success with NMN. I also think about the trolls at times like this, like anti-NMN people. Are you also anti-breast milk people? Are you also of the belief that you just need baby formula? You just need to pay a baby formula company? By the way, last couple of years, they found some baby formula to be dangerous. The FDA had to recall baby formula by some big company. If you're anti-NMN, are you anti-broccoli? Are you anti-breast milk? What is really the problem here? What's going on? Drug companies trying to own vitamin D, trying to own NMN. What are they coming for next? Get that breast out of that baby's mouth. It's a drug. Take it away. So no wonder FDA doesn't want to do anything that would actually constitute legally final action. They want to just pause, pause, pause. They want to drip dry everybody. Take away NMN, contain NMN is really what they want to do. They seem to be executing a strategy of containment. Let's just limit NMN and then we won't have to take action. You can make it a drug. It'll be a lot easier to buy that way. We make our money. Everybody's happy. The checks keep coming. The envelopes of cash keep coming. The doctors are happy. The FDA is happy. The advertising platforms are all happy. I don't know if I'm going to be happy. I don't know if I'm going to be happy in a world where I have to buy a key ingredient, a dietary ingredient, only as a drug. Maybe that's where this is going. Maybe that's the only way to safely take anything. Maybe they are going to ban breast milk. Maybe they are going to ban broccoli. Maybe they're going to make everything a drug and the only way you can consume it, or at least the concentrated forms of anything healthy, are all going to be drugs. It's as if owning the drugs that they own is not enough. They got to eliminate all the natural molecules too, or the natural ingredients are the best drugs. And those of us who have been beating the drum for dietary supplementing were right all along. Like they're just convincing us that we're right. And if we're so wrong, what are you so scared of? If supplements are so dangerous, then what are you so scared of? Why are you trying to own them? They're unregulated. They're not safe. But we can be trusted. I did trust you. I trusted David Sinclair, who said it's a natural molecule that he supplements along with his dad, and they're doing great. The body takes it in as a vitamin. I trusted him. And now I'm being told, you can't take it anymore. You can't buy it anymore until we make it a drug, however long that takes. So is it a three-year process, a four-year process? Like how long will it take them to make it a drug on the market? Assuming that some judge decides, oh, yeah, 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 everything should be a drug. doesn't matter if it's natural or not. doesn't matter if it's a milk or not. I don't think that's going to happen, but suppose that happens. And the FDA takes their final action. Justice Department sends agents out to the warehouses and confiscates all the dangerous NMN, which, by the way, is completely safe. I didn't even talk about that part, right? They beat the drum over and over and over again. The cool thing is, for the drug industry, they won't have to prove it's safe because millions of people already took it and didn't get sick. So, safe. Save them a lot of money. Thank you, supplement industry, for doing our research for us. Now, give us back our NMN. And people wonder why I get so hot and bothered by this. I'm 60. I don't want to suspend taking NMN until I'm 65 and the drug industry gets their act together. I don't want to give them five years of my life while I wait for them to make this an affordable, convenient drug that I can get easily, by the way, without a complicated prescription. Like, how easy would that be? Dan Fabricant, can you please send a link of this video to Kara Welch and say, what's up? Kara Welch at the FDA. Dan hired her when he was at the FDA. Now they're fighting each other over NMN and other things. Just pick up the phone and say, Kara, watch this video. Can you not be convinced by reason that NMN really is, by the government's own admission, by your scientists' own admission, it's a natural occurring molecule that the body takes in as a vitamin and we start taking it as infants? Where's the case? What part of that 
explanation, what part of that description doesn't meet the definition of a dietary supplement? I'll see you guys soon.